Hola. Hola, chicas. Love from Amor. Peru. From Vivianos. Mucho amor. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm really honored and so happy and delighted to introduce to you Viviana, a friend that lives in the Sacred Valley. And we were having a conversation about shamanism and the role of an artist as a shaman. And so I was I wanted to share it with you as well. So hi Viviana. <laughs> hi Michali and hi everybody. Hello. Yes. So you, yeah, you were brought up in in what we call shaman. For you, it's like a day to day thing. It's not a mystery. You were born to this. Yes, but I I also believe that uh, we all are shamans uh, because what that word means to me is that we all have the power to to transform, to change ourselves as well as anything else no that mm -hmm. we may really want to change and also to to be connected to nature that is our biggest teacher mm -hmm. uh, and i think that as long as we are conscious that we are connected to the cosmos to the to the everything i believe that uh, we can do magic and shamanism yeah, you yes. always tell me that we are magic. Yes. And actually, you from a very early child, you were you were taught to listen to nature and to plants and to animals. And so mm -hmm. it's like a natural thing. It's not when I came to visit you in Peru, I thought, oh, my God, my life is going to transform and change. And I thought the sky would open and something really dramatic will happen. But. I think only a year after I realized what happened because everything was so easy and natural and organic. And and it's like mm -hmm. I, I was always there. It's not something that happened mm -hmm. to me. Yes. And yeah, and you were telling me all the time that I'm an, I'm an artist shaman. <laughs> and I mm -hmm. wanted to ask you about the role of an artist as a shaman. Mm -hmm. And what you what what is your view mm -hmm. on art and the role of the artist yeah. today? Well, you know, I see like for example, when I look at your paintings, I see such an expression of your spirit, of the the one that you are, you know, and that how you bring that out on others, on people that are learning to paint. And uh, it is like a, like a true connection, see, with the deepest part of yourself. It's not just a superficial painting. It's something that goes beyond, that is more profound. And so I think it's like a shaman of the soul, you know, bringing out that, uh, that part of the self that often uh, we don't even know is there, see? Right. And that, that's why I, I think that uh, it's like you do magic through your art and also you, you also support others on discovering that part of themselves mm -hmm. as well. I must say, you know, that beginner artists they come they like not knowing to my classes and mm -hmm. I'm blown away because I mm -hmm. see that what they're creating is already that because they bring out this energy that sometimes very learned artists don't they That's maybe right. do the everything the lights and shadows and everything looks very realistic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but the people that are even because they don't know the rules, they do whatever they want. <laughs> right. And yes. they're free in a mm -hmm. way. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I see it happening. Wonderful. And I feel like these days are so intense. You were mm -hmm. here during the beginning of the war here. and You yes. experienced it. Uh, yes. I feel like art can 
you know, by the rules of the world can seem like, um, how do you say, like something extra, but we don't really need it for survival. But I yes, feel like right. it's, I feel like we have a role to play artists yeah. now. And, yes, um, yes, it's true. Because also, you know, through art, we can heal and we can see other dimensions of ourselves and uh, of the possibility to create our own reality, you know, mm -hmm. and to see it on what we are creating at that moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, I see that, um, you know, it's, it is a way to, to transcend that, uh, that momentary pain and fear and confusion, you know, to go mm -hmm. to another dimension of the self, of life, yes. Yeah, so first of all, it's for us to paint. It's like a meditation and also to connect to some power that comes through us. So we, we yes. are connecting to a higher source mm -hmm. that most of us, the way we paint, we, we, don't, we have no clue what we are doing. It's like yeah. we're saying, I've no, I don't know. I've, I didn't study art, but I don't know what I'm doing. But it's great because yes. something is coming through you, and you think, Oh my God, did, how did yes. I just paint this? So right. it's also yeah. a way to connect. I see it as a, yes, it's beautiful. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I really, I really wish that. I want to bring all my students here to the Sea of Galilee because it's, ah, it's a huge well. source of inspiration to be in, in the water. And yes. now after being in the Sacred Valley, mm -hmm. I want to bring them all yes, <laughs> to experience, why. to know you, my friends, you and Davishai, your husband, your partner, mm -hmm. and to, to experience what I've experienced when I was there. Mm -hmm. um, it yes. feels to me like a healing journey to mm -hmm. be, even yes. just to be in the Sacred Valley. Oh, yes, that would be very wonderful. This is an area where you can feel the energy of the earth, you know, and of course you can feel it anywhere in the earth, but here is so alive and the mountains are incredible. It's like they speak to you mm -hmm. and they hold you and they work with you on the just being and learning to be more of who you are, more of who we are, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I live here all these years, but to me, it's, uh, every time I look at these mountains, it's as if it was the first time. Wow. They are incredible to me. That's yes. amazing. It makes me teary, remembering how I'm standing on the porch in your house and these mountains. Wow. Yes. And uh, for the people I've noticed, the people who live there, they have every person have a relationship with the mountains, like they yes. see them as deities almost. That. So I'm so curious about this relationship with the mountains there. Yeah, it's like they are live, they are live beings, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not just uh, the mountain and myself. It's like we are very connected one with the other, no? Mm -hmm. And uh, the, I believe that's what makes us also to see really the connection between myself as a human and the cosmos. Mm -hmm. And the cosmic uh, powers, the cosmic laws, mm -hmm. which I am part of it as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that this is so alive here in this culture in the Andes. It's very beautiful. Yes. Okay. So for, yeah. Yeah, for us, for me and Abishai, it's a really an honor to be here. And uh, we are very grateful to be in this part. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And you and Avishai, Avishai is our, our partner. And the, I mean, it's just, it always feel like such a home. Wherever you go, you bring like a, a, such a loving um, feeling. And 
Thank you, Michal. You were taking care of so many people, like the orphans that you take mm. care of, and yes. and so many people around the world that are seeking your support. And you're all, both of you, so humble and simple and Thank you. inspiring. Thank you, Michali. Well, we hope to see you here and to have you all so together we can uh, create and manifest a better world Amen. For, Amen. for each one of us and for everybody mm -hmm. to expand no? mm -hmm. our love, mm -hmm. our consciousness. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm so looking forward to working when you, with you when we will be in Peru. You have this Thank piece you. of land with your little temple there. Yeah. And uh, my, I, I envision me and my uh, the group that will come mm -hmm. sitting there in nature, maybe around the fire and in wow. front of the mountains and and working mm -hmm. with you. Yes, and, it will uh, be beautiful. And going by the river mm -hmm. in this little forest, it's like a magical forest mm -hmm. next to the river. And just learning, learning with nature, with the flowers, with uh, with everything that is alive there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that the way you teach is not like the Western way we learn. It's more experiential and That's listening right. and feeling the mm -hmm. Mother yes. Earth and nature and our own nature. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, you know, I don't know how to talk more about how I work, but yes, it's like what you said. Um, it's more experiential because I believe that each one of us is an amazing teacher. Mm -hmm. And many times we forget about that. And yes, you know, it's nice to have a teacher also, to have a guide mm -hmm. when we begin something. Uh, but it's also beautiful to discover that, yes, we are our own teacher and that how how we want to learn and what do we want to see mm -hmm. also, you know? Yeah. And um, that is uh, how my work is. Mm -hmm. I, I believe it's about becoming more conscious of our own um, gifts and our own light, no? Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that because uh, you never give a feeling that you are higher or you are a teacher or a master. You always look at the other pe person like, the, like they are you, mm -hmm. like they are the same level as you. And just by the way you look at them, I think they become yes. that. <laughs> You don't need to even say anything. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's amazing. Because it's beautiful now that we are a mirror to each other. Uh -huh. uh, that's what I believe. Yes. Yeah. That's why there is a mirror up there. You see this mirror? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a sunny mirror. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. You look at it and you see yourself as the sun. Because it's yes. with rain. <laughs> that's right. And that's how we are. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. We just forgot who we yes. are. Yeah, yeah. So now it's time to remember and to it's... unlearn whatever we don't want to, yeah. to remember or to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. And I feel like I am teary because... Uh, because mm. I feel like my heart is calling me so strongly to come again. It's like in every cell of my body. Yes, how beautiful. It's, uh, it will be so amazing to have you here with us again. It will be wonderful Thank and you. honor. Yeah. And you will see the temple, how it looks so beautiful because of your painting. Thank you. It's so <laughs> full of magic. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I can continue. I painted on the window. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow yes. thank you so so very much Viviana I think we will for the people who are will be interested in coming with us to Peru we can we will have a zoom and you can meet Viviana mm -hmm. and Abisha and we can talk deeper into 
into it. You can ask your questions and everything. Yes, that would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so much. So I look forward to seeing you and um, to have fun together here. Yes. yes. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I love Hi. you, Diana. Thank you to you. Thank you. Ciao. Michal mechalek et ale koka. Luisa, gracias mamá, que encuentro participar en X-Manda.